today on 15 on 15. Aruba signs a treaty with the Transport Security Administration in the name of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Plus, this visiting couple has a terrible visit to the island due to a faulty travel agency. And this is local band Buleria's latest music video. Thank you for joining us on another edition of 15 on 15 right here on Channel 15 ATV with Dion Piazzi. First of all, I would like to wish you all a great start to the week. Now let's get started with our latest local news topics. Over the weekend, Aruba's Minister of Transportation and Tourism, Otmar Odebeer, was in Washington, D.C. to sign a treaty on behalf of the Dutch Kingdom with the American Transportation Security Administration. The Transportation Security Administration, or TSA, is an agency of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security that has authority over the security of the traveling public within the United States. Since Aruba has a large quantity of incoming and outgoing American visitors every day, TSA preclearance booths have been set up at the local Rihanna Beatrix Airport to save time and hassle for passengers once arriving at their final destination within the U.S. Over the weekend, Aruba's Minister of Transportation and Tourism, Otmar Odebeer, signed a treaty with TSA, which has been in the works for over two years. This allows Aruba's airport and seaport to abide by the same security measures than any American TSA facility. Now, Aruba will be up to date on all security measures and devices used in the U.S., and there will be no more need for a second screening upon arriving at an American port. Upon signing the treaty, TSA's administrator, Peter Neffinger, gave a few congratulatory words to the minister. Uh, sometimes it takes a while to get to good agreements, but this is a really wonderful agreement and it gives us the opportunity, I think, to, to even, first of all, to ensure the security of the aviation system. And that's, that's, that's very important for us, but most importantly, to connect us in a very, in a very good way. Moving forward, on Sunday morning, U.S. and Dutch law enforcement officials made an $8 million drug bust. Yes, you heard me right, $8 million off the Aruban coast. Here is more on this story. United States Coast Guard and Dutch law enforcement teams have seized 550 pounds of cocaine and detained one man during an at-sea interdiction northwest of Aruba. The seized cocaine shipment was estimated to have a wholesale value of more than $8.25 million. The U.S. Coast Guard states that while on a joint patrol, members of its law enforcement, along with Dutch Marine crew, detected and intercepted a suspicious vessel northwestern of Aruba in international waters. The cocaine and boat were seized, and the man who was on board the vessel was taken into custody. The suspect and contraband were transferred to Panama Express Strike Force agents in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. However, during transportation, the vessel they seized became inoperable and was sunk as a danger to navigation. The Urban Police Force was not yet able to comment on the situation, but will be sure to keep you updated on the developments of this story. Moving forward, as May 1st, all primary sectors on the island will be able to operate tax-free. Through the implementation of this law, the Aruban government hopes to motivate spending amongst the community and local produce. As of May 1st, all products to do with fishermen, farmers and agriculture will be tax-free. This law will be implemented for both commercial vendors and those who simply do it as a hobby. The implementation of this law will have many benefits for not only the primary sector but also the community. It promotes healthy local eating by dropping prices of Aruban grown and raised products. It also guarantees that the produce sold is fresh and free of any genetically modified organisms which can drastically lengthen the lifespan of a fruit, meat or vegetable. Nevertheless, does not mean that current local farmers can grow or catch enough for the whole island. With the implementation of this law, the Aruban government hopes to motivate the job market to join the primary sector. Also, the lack of rain on the island and high prices of water has acted as a barrier which the Aruban ministry hopes to overcome with an energy and water discount for local cultivators. We'll be back with more 15 on 15 after a quick commercial break. When we come back from the break, find out why this couple's dream getaway became a nightmare of a vacation. Thank you for staying with 
with us right here on Channel 15 ATV. Aruba is widely marketed to be the one happy island, and the expectations of visitors are naturally quite high before even stepping foot here. In fact, the island's several amenities are a pleasant surprise to a majority of times. But once in a while, it can go terribly wrong. This next story is about a couple that planned a trip to Aruba through the vacation company Apple Vacations, and what they hoped to have been the perfect getaway ended up being a vacation from hell. After spending over $5,000 and not being able to be recompensated in any way, this couple decided to take action by contacting their local Pennsylvania investigative reporter, Marty Griffin. Here's what he did. Welcome to Aruba, where people in nature greet you with open arms. This is Aruba, marketing folks call it the happy island. Sun, surf, little wind, paradise. Well, not all the time, not for everyone. That's where the vacation from hell starts. I was crying at one point, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was in tears. For Marty and Sandy Kowaleski, their self-described trip from hell started right here at the Rio Palace Hotel, Aruba. It's supposed to be a great hotel. What is it, five-star hotel? Five-star, seven, seven nights. Seven nights from Four. January 4th to January 11th. They had the reservations booked through AAA travel, Apple vacations, January 4th through the 11th, the Rio Palace, Aruba. Done deal, right? <coughs> no, wrong. They got to Aruba handed the hotel folks their paperwork and bam nightmare begins i said what are we going to do we had all our luggage we had nowhere to go they said you absolutely can't stay here we're 100 percent booked we had nowhere nowhere to go and you're kind of trapped you don't know what to do they sat in the hotel lobby for seven eight hours waiting and then dinner they gave us a cold sandwich and a glass of water and then they said you can spend the night but you can't spend the next day you have to be out of your room because we're completely full i said this is insane for the next four nights they were kicked in and out of their room packing unpacking and each time they returned to their room more pleasantries in paradise we went down to the pole we came back we're locked out of our rooms finally they did get a room we're able to stay in the same room for four days but consider the trip ruined the tension the grief the aggravation to make things worse, Marty has serious heart problems. Stress is not good for him. He's been, had four heart attacks and he's had uh, quadruple bypass and uh, he just can't take any, any more stress. Back from their trip, frustrated with the response from any agency responsible for the trip, they sent me this email. Marty, can you imagine paying $5,204.18 and being treated like this? I do not have money for another trip. We have a lot of faith in you. I said to my wife, Sandra, I said, I'm going to call Marty. For months, they had no luck with Apple Vacations or the hotel and were frustrated with AAA. However, after we reached out, AAA stepped up immediately. I'll tell you what, Marty, we, we, we believe in take, making things right. Up till now, all Apple Vacation has done is offer a $150 coupon for their next trip. Thankfully, AAA has been able to step up to the plate and assist in the conflict. We'll be back with more 15 on 15 after a quick commercial break. After the break, check out local band Buleria's latest hit. Thank you for staying with us right here on Channel 15 ATV. And to close up the show on a lighter note, this is the latest hit of the local band, Buleria. I had the honor to be part of this project, and today I present it to you. This is Unfinished Biz. Corda con nos, 
tem algo e termina. La ganó. Asunti, e não pode continuar. Nossa, hasta tu me primi riba outro. Ma passa, ma camina, mi no da o dima. Unfinished business de nós dois. Neste chega a su final. Que remi do shits now or never. Liga me casquita, bo paia, pa nos tá. Na galos, pone punto final. Na lo qual. these were your local news updates and trending Aruba topics. Be sure to like our 15 on 15 Facebook and Instagram page for all of your latest news updates. Also, don't forget to tune back in tomorrow night at 7.15pm for more 15 on 15 right here on Channel 15 ATV. See ya then!